Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Hey, my connectors, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, join the family. If you like good food, it's the place to be. Come and have a little fun with your girl, KC. What's up, my connectors, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are having some rotisserie chicken. This is a versus video, so I have Mike's Hot Honey, and I put it on this rotisserie chicken. And then I have this rotisserie chicken, and I put some uh, sweet and sour. I drizzled, like, sweet and sour all over it, so... We're going to just try it out and just see, see what it's working with. So if you're new to the channel, if you could please hit your notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to share, like, and leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> I ain't never had it before like this. We're just going to try it, okay? Just try something new. All right, I hope you guys are doing well today. Let's try with the honey on top first. This might be... Oh, uh, something else, child. Oh. Mmm. That's good. And I was going to add some Hawaiian rolls or something to it. I was like, oh, I just be too full, you know? So, I just did it like this. So, we just want to try it out. A little chicken. Then I was gonna do um I had some y'all know that sweet kale salad? I don't know if y'all ever had that. I was gonna add that to it. Mm. But y'all said don't come in here picking at this chicken. <laughs> Not that day. All right, let me try. Oh, hold on, let me try that one next. Confession. Y'all already know what I'm gonna say. I ate the wings off one of these um, rotisserie chickens. My head got a little snacky. Oh, I got coconut water, Lou. I was already drinking it. Mmm. That's a lot of chicken. Oh. Yeah, so I was already drinking a coconut water. Though. Hold on, let me eat this wing over here. And of course, y'all know I got these from Sam's. And I always put it back in the oven just so they can cook a little bit more. Hopefully y'all can see them. So what's up there? What's going on today? In the world. Mm. Y'all know I don't really eat the skin unless it's fried. I like the fried skin. But they pretty, aren't they? It's like big old hens or something. Actually, speaking of hens, I've never had hen. Y'all ever had hen? Y'all like hen? I've never had hen. I ain't never have it. Thanksgiving's coming up. Mm-mm. I got a question for y'all. <laughs> What's your favorite side at Thanksgiving? You got your plate ready. All the food is done. And traditionally, we always have more sides than pro like meat. Desserts, we always have most sides like dressing, macaroni and cheese, candy, and all. Of you can only pick two sides. What you picking? Mm. 
And that's including like the vegetables, collard greens and all that. You got to pick your favorite two sides for Thanksgiving. So you just say you got greens, you got dressing, you got mac and cheese, you got candy yams, you got corn pudding. All the fixings, all, everything, all the sides. What two sides are you picking for Thanksgiving? Let me know, let me know. All right, let's try this one. Oh, we falling off the bone. Hold on, hold on, big fella. Should I bring the sauce up here so y'all can see it? Mmm. That hit a little harder. Dog, I should go get the hot sauce. Hold on. I think I'm gonna pick. I am going to choose. Put a little hot sauce on top too. Ooh. Big fella. Um, of course macaroni and cheese. You gotta have macaroni and cheese. Now this is where I get stuck because I love candy yams, y'all. I love candied yams. Mmm. Oh, messed up my shirt. So, and I love greens. I don't cook them, but I love them. Oh, so I don't know what I'm picking. Mm. I think I'm going to go with the mac. Mac and cheese. And candy yams. <laughs> It's all right. It's Thanksgiving. Y'all pick however many you want. <laughs> but let me know what your favorite two are, though. Let me know what your favorite two are. Ooh. But, um, so with the verses, clearly you can tell which one I like the most. Even though the, the honey is good on it. But I think the honey tastes better on fried, in my opinion. And the sweet and sour, seems like it tastes good on anything. Fried, rotisserie chicken. Y'all know where I get that from. Um, um, Buffalo Wild Wings. That does not mix. Try it mix with everything. Mmm. Mmm. I eat these cucumbers every day. And I got a big one. I got the salad dressing from Sam's. I remember one time I was opening something. And you know how you bite something which you shouldn't be doing, biting it with your mouth? <laughs> and I think her name was Tweety. No, it wasn't Tweety. What was her name? And she was like, um, Auntie, you're, a little, you're slipping on your editing. I saw you bite that with your mouth. <laughs> you don't pay attention to too much. No. But yeah, that was too funny to me. Some of the stuff y'all say is just hilarious. Just crazy. All right, let me stop talking to eat my chicken. Cause y'all already, I already know y'all in the comments. Who gonna say it? Javon gonna say something. Um, was it Kendra gonna say something? G gonna say something. Um, let me see how many people I name gonna say something. You ain't really eat all that chicken. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Almost every last one of my nieces is going to say something. Auntie, why you eat my plate and when it got them people chicken? Y'all don't know what I might do. Come finna stop talking to eat. 
I'm not finna talk to y'all for the next five minutes. How about that? Dripping. Don't be dripping. I don't want y'all on my chin. I can't stand that. <laughs> I should. No, say no. Five minutes. <laughs> mm. Okay, five minutes up. I miss y'all. <laughs> going out of town for Thanksgiving? Oh, let me tell you a little story time. It ain't even, is it story time? So, I think this was me and Kit first got married, right? His dad came down for Thanksgiving. So, you know, my mom, her mom cooked every Thanksgiving. So his dad came down and in my family, we already know how things go. She used to cook like 10 to 12 pies or no, maybe 10 to 15 pies. But she would make so many because we would eat them. She used to cook them the night before. But we would end up eating about two or three before Thanksgiving. So his dad came down for Thanksgiving one, one year. And he was sitting back, you know, watching the game and stuff. And I have a big family, y'all. And even people that are not related always used to come over and eat when my mom and dad cooked. So he's sitting there chilling, watching the game. So Kit was like, Dad, you going to eat? Because we all, as soon as the pots are done, we in there. We don't do like a formal sit down where everybody eat at the same time. We never really did that. We never did that, actually. I don't think. So, um, her dad sitting there chilling, you know. All conservative. You know, just, we all like hitting the pots like... <laughs> Like we running out of food. So I see the stack of pies like going down. Y'all remember those white Tupperware stack trays, stackable pie trays? Well, they had, it had went down a couple notches. So a couple pies was already gone. So Kit was like, Dad, you, you gonna get up and get you something to eat? Yeah, I'll eat, you know, a little later. <laughs> I'm like, babe, you better fix your dad a plate or fix him some uh, pie or slice him a pie and put it in the corner, sit it by him or do something. Because there ain't going to be no more food left. So he started watching the game. You know, I said, okay. So chai about, I want to say, because the food thing was done by 12 or something. About 6 o'clock or 3 o'clock, yeah, it was later, hours later. His dad gonna go over there. <laughs> and say, Hey, where are the pies? <laughs> Baby, I had already, everybody had already ate and fixed my plate for the next day. Because everybody knows how this goes. It's just, it was just tradition. You know, tradition. And kid was like, Dad, they're gone. Gone where? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, everybody has eaten it. Everybody ate all the pies. They're gone. He was like, that's why I kept telling you to get up and fish your plate. So 
So the next day we um I think my mom and my mom my mama ended up giving him a piece of pie because she knew he wasn't gonna get none because uh I guess she had put one away or something. So he didn't go without y'all. He had some. But the next day, cause uh, I was like, you better tell your dad to get some leftovers. Cause y'all know I wasn't cooking the next day. Look, I eat Thanksgiving leftovers, baby. You better get you a plate. Cause my kids already knew to get them a plate. Well, get this is my plate. So they can have lunch the next day. So yes, your dad, you know, do you want me to fix you a plate to go? He was like, no, I'm gonna be fine. Child, the next day at our house, we're all like heating up our food and <laughs> getting ready to eat. And he was like, oh, you guys getting ready to eat? And he was like, yeah. He was like, any more of those leftovers? <laughs> he was like, no, dad, that's why I asked you, did you want some leftovers? Did you want to take any leftovers? But I thought you didn't eat leftovers. Child, don't be cute. It's Thanksgiving, okay? People ask you, do you want to take a plate? You better take a plate. Because you may be full on Thanksgiving, but the next day you wake up hungry. At least I know I did. Or I do. Mm. I'm so weird. I like dry meat. like to dry, make sure it's done kind of meat. Mm, 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 mm. But y'all child. He's in there trying to be fancy. Better get you something to eat, bro. <laughs> mm, mm. Let me tell you the people that hurt my nerve, child. People that come to gatherings and don't bring nothing. Don't bring nothing. And I did this one time and I felt guilty the whole time, right? But it was it was because we was just coming from out of town and we were supposed to go to a gathering. And they eat or everybody was eating at the same time. And I just felt so bad for not bringing something. But I never did that again. But people that show up, come get a plate, just leave. Ain't come to mingle, didn't come to say, hey, how you doing? Nothing. They just come with their aluminum foil and they took go place already ready to go. And show up every time like that. Like bring some paper towels or something. A roll of tissue, anything. Some dishwashing liquid. Like Lord. But now if you just invite it, I'm talking about these are these usually be uninvited guests. If you're invited or whatever, uh-oh, then, um, so I can see that sometimes, but I just feel like I have to give something. A bottle of alcohol or something. And if I don't have, if I don't stop and get the bottle, I can't find the bottle you like. I'll at least like give you some money towards it or something, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause cooking take, to me takes a lot of work. That's a lot of preparation and people that cook, that love to cook. They... Yeah. People that love to cook really want you to enjoy their food. And they put a lot of work into it. So yeah, bring some this Thanksgiving, y'all. If you get invited somewhere, bring the people something, something to drink. Give them a gift card, anything. <laughs> Don't just show up at people house, sit in the corner, eat, and then leave. That ain't right. The groceries is high. Shoot. Especially if you shop at places like um 
Publix or on Whole Foods or on Sam, or Costco, anywhere, shoot. Mmm. Girl, I can't get enough of this doggone salt and vinegar. I'm gonna need to go get me another box. But yeah, y'all, it's just a chill day. This would actually be a really good sandwich. And you can't fry something after it's cooked, huh? Meet this other drumstick. <clears throat> oh, that's a wing up there? I thought I had an eight. Well, I know I ate the wing off two of them. Two pieces, four pieces of chicken. My favorite piece of chicken, drum street wings, or thigh. The breast meat just too big for me. It's dry. Just a little quick versus video. I guess Kiana can use that one for the chicken salad sandwich. I told her to make me a chicken salad sandwich. I don't know if she'll be able to use this one. But this one is just like the glaze on top. She can lift that and then use the chicken. But in it, that honey might be good in that chicken salad sandwich, huh? I think so. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one. So much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. <clears throat> Woo. And until the next video, continue making connections with endless possibilities. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. Welcome to the after party. After the party. Let's have some fun. I gotta do the remix because so you can't do on people lyrics and stuff. So you gotta remix. So I'm just eat my um cucumbers in the after party, y'all. Have fun in the after party. What y'all wanna talk about? Y'all want me to answer some questions? Oh, so, excuse me. Somebody asked for another Q&A. Y'all want another Q&A? I feel like we just did one. Or should we do an assumptions video? You know, the only thing with them assumptions videos. <sighs> Some people be trying. <laughs> Let me know if y'all want me to do that. If you made it to the after party. If you want me to do another Q&A. Q&A. Or you want me to do an assumptions video. Or you want me to do a Q&A with Leisha. So y'all can ask us like sister questions. Like, do have we ever had a fight? Yeah, I whooped them. <laughs> or um What else could y'all ask us? I don't even know no questions y'all could possibly ask us, but I know y'all probably know some questions. So yeah, so do do you want me to do an assumptions video? Another Q&A. &A with Leisha. I know what y'all probably gonna pick. But y'all don't like me. Y'all really want Leisha back. Alright, so let me let y'all go. But yeah, let me know in the comments, y'all. I love you. Enjoy your day. 
and don't forget to smile. <laughs> no, seriously. Bye, y'all.